Cyberpunk-Vibes, ja, yeah, a little bit. Oh, a little bit as well Valorant-Vibes, no? I already see it in the chat as well, Valorant-Skin. Oh, I don't know. It gives me Mustard-Vibes as well. Like, if I would order Mustard in the game Cyberpunk 27.7, this is the vibes that it gives me. It's all right. I think, no, I'm sorry, bro. It's just not for me. Yellow is not my favorite color, I'm sorry. Ooh, day version. Maybe even better. Wow, they're just both absolutely astonishing. Astonishing. Chat, what a sticker. As well a big W. Would it make ma more sense since it's like in the daylight and the sun is shining and usually when the sun is shining, you're getting way too hot if you like wear too much clothing, right? So it's like maybe day version, make a different version where it's like actually like how it would be, like, you know, like a little bit. Maybe not. Okay, next up, Hell Garden. It is from Dreams and Nightmares. That's terrible. I'll give it an immediate no thank you. I'm so sorry. See high sticker glossy holo. What? In game? Maybe? Hello? Sometimes you need a little bit on the go. <laughs> what? Shroom water? <laughs> bro, is a, bro what? this is like Fortnite vibes. In Fortnite you can like regain your, your shield if you eat shrooms, right? <laughs> bro, what? What is this? That's a no thank you, bro. I'm sorry. Inferno fever glossy holo. What? It's a banana that's being opened and then black hands are coming out with a flame. What is happening? And there's a little bell, which is like the Chiquia, I guess. The Chiquia symbol, right? Like the brand. But why? Inferno banana molly. Ah, I get it, I get it. Nah, bro, not for me. Me and the boys are banana, yeah, I get it. We're the first visitor, lol. One of the first visitors, chat. Six people only saw this. We're the first one to download it. Oh my god! M5 for Neon Rider. Number two. Uploaded in April. Chat, I'm a Neon Rider enjoyer. AK Neon Rider, one of the coolest ones. Mac 10 Real Rider. Neon Rider, I love it. This one is nice as well. Oh my god. Show me in game. This is how it looks in idle. I like that a lot. Little jiffy right here. Yes, sir. That's an upvote. That's still possible that something like this still gets released. It doesn't matter if a skin is uploaded in 2016 or like yesterday. They sometimes take those old, old submissions. MP9 Discotech. Ooh. I like the Mac 10 Discotech. But it is annoying to me personally. The one thing that I hate about this skin so much, and we talked about this before. And if you don't know about it, and if you, like, I don't know. Um, if you lo love the skin before, maybe look away now. I mean, actually, if, if you have one yourself, you, you know about it. The one thing that's annoying is how the pearlescent effect works, in my opinion. Look, when the, when the gun moves... The color changes, right? Now it's orange. Boom, it turns purple. Zack, zack, zack. But it doesn't move when we move it like that. Only the holos change. You see that? It doesn't change. It's only the gun positioning that changes the holo effect. So this always stays like this in idle. It always stays cyan and orange in idle. The stickers go crazy because stickers have a different way how they work uh, when it comes to the... Um, to the holo effect, I guess. I wish that this worked like the holo effects on the stickers. I wish. Still a nice scan. True, 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 true. But me personally, when I look at the Mac 10 discotheque, I love the skin for the purple. I love the color purple. I love the color cyan. This to me looks sexy as f And then I checked it out for the first time in game. And every time I play with this gun, it's yellow and, and, and blue, you know? It's a little bit weird how it works. MP9 discotheque, I will still give it an... A thumbs up, I think. I wouldn't mind this. Next up, Tech 9 Gleam. And this skin I saw Simota uploaded today. I saw his Reddit, uh, sorry, his Twitter post. Simota, one of my good friends. He is a f legend. Look, he already uh, has, has skins in the game, multiple skins in the game. If you don't know what skins does he have in game, you can see it right here. The P250 was his most recent edition. Yeah, the Max 7 MI, whatever it's called, of this finish. Multiple skins in the game already. Old, old, old skins creator. He also makes a bunch of skins for Krunka. I remember when I had Simota on call, when I was talking to him on stream, everybody said, wait, that's him, that's uh, uh, Simota from Krunka. <laughs> <laughs> Simota, you see right now. Simota, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Kunka legend. Yeah, this is nice. What uh, rarity are you aiming for, Simota? Ooh, in battle scarred. Suck me dry. Wait, wait, let me guess. I assume pink. I assume pink. Rarity of never being accepted. Are you serious right now? Bro, I wouldn't mind this, bro. The battle scarred one look, look sexy. I wish you included a jiffy. Ah, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's nice as f That's a yes from my side, bro. SG Capybara! Oh! Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> LOL. 
What the f What a pleasant surprise! Oh, in battle scarred. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. How can you not like that? <laughs> it's so goofy as well. It's so badly executed that it's already like, I don't know, cute on another level or just funny. That's an upward directly, bro. Does he have more skins? Let me check. <laughs> M4A for Capybara. No. Glock Toucan. <laughs> bro, what is this guy's workshop? I love that so much. Use PS Kraken. Bro, that's so cool. He's just uploading his own MS painting drawings as a skin. P90 Sworn Loyalty. Oh, but he has so many. I mean, I guess because they're easy to create, maybe. Oh my god, that's cool as well. Should I like this guy's artwork a lot? Dog surfing? Excuse me? <laughs> Bro! Oh my god. Hell yeah. Pine Warrior. Oh, no, nah, this one is not good. I don't like when you copy-paste like that. Interesting, bro. 146 pages! Chat, in no way, it's all that! It's all different skins as well! It's not like he uploaded, like, the same skin on every single gun. No, he uploaded the same one at, like, three different guns. Chat, did he make, like, 500 different skins? What the f Nah. I'm going to page 146. And if it's the same type of drawing on page 146... Then I don't know what to do. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. He has won 50 pages of the same type of MS Paint artworks. He gets a little bit creative as well from time to time. Right here, it's pattern based. Bro, the dedication, the consistency of this guy. 1,300 workshop items and it's all... CSGO by the looks of it. We went to the last page and it's it's all CS. All CSGO skins. Nah. It's... <laughs> Chad, I can't believe this. And it's all... Do you know what I love as well? The consistency in how he uploads them. Let me see. When did he make his first craft? Uh, sorry, his first skin. First skin. 2020. And Chad, the SG Capabara, he uploaded today. He made 1,300 skins. In two years, that's 650. I don't know why I pulled up the calculator for that. That's 650 skins per year. <laughs> per year. Per day, two skins. Ain't no way, bro. Chad, I can't believe it. And do you know what I love about this? As well, how he not just sticks true to like how he makes the skins, like by using MS Paint, right? Like he sticks to his style, even though, boom, after two years, no singular skin of his got accepted. But he still keeps uploading them in the same style as he did on day one. And look at the thumbnail. The thumbnail, boom, Glock Ladybirds. This was the first one he ever did two years ago. And it's still, till this day, the same way how he uploads his current skins. I love that, bro. I love that. Jesus. Nah. I want him to have a skin in the game so badly. Why?